Hello everyone, Dr. Shaw here with the Upper Cervical Spine Center. Now when most people think about chiropractic, they think about neck and back pain. And although with chiropractic we see amazing results with neck and back pain, we know that it is so much more. Actually, the very first adjustment in 1895 given by the founder of chiropractic, D.D. Palmer, was given to restore a man's hearing. So we know that chiropractic and especially upper cervical care is so much more than neck and back pain. It truly restores function throughout the entire body. So how was an adjustment or a force given to a bone able to restore a man's hearing? Well, when we look here at the brain stem, you have a nerve coming off of the brain stem called the vestibulocochlear nerve, okay? This is cranial nerve number eight. What vestibulo means is balance and cochlear is hearing. And we can see that this nerve travels to the inner ear. So when people suffer from ear disorders, whether that be Meniere's disease, hearing loss, vertigo, whatever it may be, we usually see that there's nothing wrong with the ear itself. And so the doctor's checking out the ear, they don't see anything wrong. But this person may be experiencing, again, hearing loss or tinnitus, which is ringing in the ears. Some people suffer from vertigo, which is balance issues. They get really, really dizzy. Some have drop attacks, which is that dizziness is so bad that they have nausea, they throw up, they literally can't do anything because the world is just spinning. So if nothing's wrong with the ear, what could possibly be wrong? What we found in our office with upper cervical care is it's something wrong with this vestibulocochlear nerve. So what is that something wrong? What we found is that a misalignment in the top of the neck that puts pressure on this brainstem can also put pressure on this vestibulocochlear nerve. So even though the, there's nothing wrong with the ear, the brain is interpreting that something's wrong with the ear due to the pressure on the vestibulocochlear nerve. Now we don't know what this pressure causes. Sometimes it's the tinnitus, the ringing in the ears. Sometimes it's the vertigo. We don't know. We just know that if we can take pressure off the brain stem, allowing that vestibulocochlear nerve to function and get the correct messages from the brain or the brain stem to the ear and vice versa, everything starts to work correctly. That's why those with Meniere's symptoms, those with vertigo, those with, he those with hearing loss who experience upper cervical care many times get their symptoms relieved. 